When you're comparing water ionizers and figuring out which one you want to buy, the most important thing to look at is the antioxidants that that water ionizer is capable of producing. There's two ways to measure antioxidants, and the first way is using a meter that will tell you the oxidation reduction potential. And the more negative the number, the better. Here we see the Athena H2. Out of five levels, this is pouring at level two. And the oxidation reduction potential is negative 750. That's really fantastic. And one of the reasons why I like the Athena H2 almost better than any other water ionizer. Here's the Athena H2 at level three, showing a negative 838 ORP. The Vesta H2 gets up to about negative 846 ORP at level 3. Ionia's best super sanitizing water ionizer gets up to a negative 824 ORP. The Smart 9P gets a negative 828 ORP. The Smart 7P gets a negative 800 ORP. At level 4, the Melody 2 gets a negative 749 ORP. The Nexus X Blue at level 3 gets a negative 788 ORP. Athena Classic gets a negative 718 ORP. And the Enagic SD501 gets about a negative 634 ORP. You can pretty much see that all of these water ionizers did great. The ORP levels are all very high. There are two brands I didn't include in this video, and that's mainly because there are some issues with these brands. Life Ionizers, for instance, has typically not tested well, but lately they have posted a video that misinforms people about how quote-unquote well their ionizer performs. I call it a fake test because they put way too much sample water in their vial, giving greater results than they should have by about five times. There are many websites that appear to be independent review websites, but they're actually owned by Tiant or Life Ionizers or Air Water Life or Baywell, that kind of thing. These are water ionizer companies trying to get you to think that all kinds of independent review websites are proclaiming their water ionizers to be the best. None of these companies do testing for antioxidants like ORP tests and H2 hydrogen tests. They do other things like empty boasts and brags and PR about their products, pretty much focusing on the trivial aspects of any water ionizer. There are some really important things to look at when you're buying a water ionizer. First of all, does the water cell have continuous cleaning? If it doesn't, then that water cell is going to scale up over time. Or how is the plating done? Is there a scientific process used to make sure the platinum bonds to the titanium forever? If not, that plate might lose platinum over time. There's also the filtration technology used. Some companies have such poor internal filters in their water ionizers that they have to give you external filters to make up for it. There are quite a few water ionizers that come with good filtration though. And if filtration is really important to you, you should check out ultra water filtration, which is miles ahead of all the other filters. The real truth is you don't have to spend 5000 or 4000 or 3000 or even 2000 to get a really good water ionizer. 
look through this video to compare them and see. Now I'm really going to focus on hydrogen because there's been so much research done on hydrogen over the past 10 years and it is so proven to be beneficial in every bodily function there is. Ionia's best water ionizer tests at 1.59 parts per million of hydrogen. The Smart 7P water ionizer tests at 1.53 parts per million of hydrogen. The Melody 2 water ionizer tests at 1.5 parts per million of hydrogen. The Classic Athena tests at 0.98 parts per million of hydrogen. The Enagic SD501 tests at 1.23 parts per million of hydrogen. Go to my hydrogen water and ionized water research page to find out how important antioxidants and hydrogen are in your ionized water and also how important ionized water is. It cleanses, hydrates, brings pH balance and brings antioxidants to help with free radicals and does all kinds of things to help every cell in one's body.